It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Verdant and Track Brewing Company, and it's a can of Truckee Table Beer coming in at 2.6% ABV. There's a look at the can label, 440 can. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I've not had a table beer in a while. I think the first one I ever had was from Colonel Brewery down in London. This is all going to be about complete refreshment. A 2.6% ABV. This is about just how much drinkability you can get into a beer. That's what I think anyway. We've got a three finger white head. Look at the haze again from Verd Verdant Brewing Company. It's just the kings of hazy beer. Looks really good. Uh, Pina colada, haze looking beer, uh, nice cloudy head that's dissipating quite quickly. Let's get the aroma. I think this is going to be the hoppiest, most flavoursome 2.6% ABV beer, table beer I've ever had. Smells terrific. Let's dive in. Grapefruit, citrus, mango. Yeah, pineapple. Here we go. Yeah, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what an incredible beer. Grapefruit, citrusy, mango. Lovely hoppy flavours coming through, and it's the hops really that's carrying most of the flavours of this beer. It is very drinkable. Um, I've had some table beers in the past. I've just not found them to be very good, to be honest. And this, this is just remarkable. It's incredible for a table beer. So much flavour. It's pulling it off because. <sighs> We've all been there, the old working man's club years ago, or maybe not the youngsters, but some of the older generation will remember the working man's clubs. They're still about, just not, met, just not that many of them these days. Um, and you'd always see a, like a 3.5% ABV beer in these places and there really wasn't much taste to it at all. Um, the same again with the supermarket style 2.6% beers that came out probably five years ago. 2013 was a, was a popular year for table beer, I believe around that time um but they were they were very very watery very very not much to them at all not much biscuit malt not much hot profile this on the other hand yeah it, it, it i would I, I bought this table beer myself because it, it had verdant on it and i just thought to myself if anybody can pull this style off i've had a, a couple by the way that's, that's, that's done tremendously well but if anybody can pull it off at the moment is verdant and they've done it grapefruit pineapple mango citrus a touch of biscuit malt not too much malt because it's only 2.6 percent abv they didn't want to put too much malt in otherwise it would knock the abv higher the more malt the more abv so that's the problem when you take a lot of it away you're not left with much to go at. You can add as many hops as you want, and that's exactly what they've done. Nice carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's a table beer, it's, but it's a hazy table beer. Uh, it's been brewed with mosaic and citra. Uh, the malts are extra pale, cara. Pills, Golden Promise, Vienna, Caragold, Oats and Flaked Wheat. Uh, the yeast is London Ale 3. Uh, contains gluten, wheat and barley. Oh, here we have a bit of a description for the beer. Uh, it's a real town with an unreal backyard. A place for those who 
know an outside life tastes sweeter. Uh, there's an authentic vibe that is both welcoming and exciting to be a part of. It's a trucky thing. Pardon me. It's also vegan friendly. Um, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate this beer. I'm going to rate it very, very highly because it just this beer is really not my style. It's not many people's style at 2.6%, but Verdant have pulled it off. And Track Brewing Company. Uh, I think it's a terrific example of this style of beer. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Oh, let me mention driving. You probably have one or two of these and still drive the car. 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.